guys to go near the ledge. Oh my goodness. But these guys are so brave. They jumped off the cliff and I don't know. Cave. Let me show you quickly on the map what it looks like. This is where we are. Oh no, I think it's not in the map. Oh no, it is on the map. Here it is. That's it. So we're here now and we're gonna go all the way down there. So the sun is out. I've got my sun gear on and he's ready to go. Let's hit the road. It is so traffic. Um, they're doing the road so every time we commute around the Albay area or, or here in Daraga, there's always traffic, but um, yeah, hopefully it moves. Last time we were here for, I don't know, I would say, not in this place per se, but on our way here, we were stuck in traffic for about three hours, which is not cool. Um, yeah, it's lunchtime, hottest part of the day, I would say about 30 degrees Celsius maybe. Yeah, I hope I hope we start moving very soon. As you can see, the traffic behind me, traffic is real. and gosh the pathway going here is so pretty oh you can see all the water going down the stream it's a nice sunny day I would say it's around 1 p.m. right now so it's enough we're ready to get a sunburn but we are going inside the cave so it should be nice inside I imagine this place getting really crowded uh, during peak season right now it is supposedly peak season but it's only us here there's no one else and there's already a tour guide eyeing us inside. There he is. Keeps checking up on us to make sure we register, pay the fees, and use him as our tour guide. But, uh, <laughs> but right now, yeah, it's very quiet. Even the roads going here are so quiet. But incredibly, all the roads leading to this place were all cemented. It was just done properly. And I was telling Eddie that I imagine that it can get really busy in traffic here on a normal circumstance you know when there's no covid or when things normalize but right now again traveling this time of the year it's not so easy that's why a lot of tourists uh, don't prefer traveling just because yeah there's a lot of paperwork to fill but in our case we've just been yearning to travel around the philippines and so we're doing it and it's good in a sense that you don't have the crowd with you but maybe not so good if you're wanting to go to places like Patanes or Romblon or just other places. You do need a lot of paperwork done. But anyway, let's go explore the Hovelyar Underground River. Hello, Hi. Hi. Afternoon. Afternoon. <laughs> right now we're doing the calculation for the cost to explore this entire area and it quite steep. We'll do the breakdown in a while. Um, yeah. And we have a third dining table, 200. There are a total of 460. The inclusion of that, 460, is to be used sightseeing, swimming, picture taking. You can go to the hanging bridge. Dancing, singing. Uh, no. Uh, if you want to do dancing, you can do it. Okay. And only you can see just the entrance of the alley. But if you want to go inside, ma'am, sir. We have to add 400 pesos more. So we are just gonna get ready to go inside. Our our entrance fee is a little bit shocking. One I wasn't prepared, but Eddie was pretty chill about it. I just uh, thought that we could go and pay a minimal fee, but no, it's, um, it's more than a grand. So what are we gonna? More than a thousand pesos. So what are we gonna see? No, it was uh, eight ten. Eight ten because one four if you're seeing the dry cave. Yeah, um, it would have been one thousand four hundred if we were gonna see the dry cave, which is basically you going 
up some cave formations. Um, but then with the 800 feet, what are we seeing? Um, we're, well, we're, we're getting 10 pesos of parking, which is fine. 10 pesos so parking for our motorbike. We are off to our adventure. This is Kuya. Ano pangalan niyo? Ay, Kuya Fect. Kuya Fect. For short form. Perfect. Uh, perfect. Perfecto. Oh, yeah. Because you're going to have a perfect day today with Kuya Fect. We shall continue. Well, where is our first destination? It's uh, Obilia and the Grand River. Okay, Obilia Muna. Obilia Muna. Oh, let's go. We're going to the Grand River. The Underground River. Chickpeas in the last one. The last one. Okay. Then you go first in the Okay. Sounds like a plan, Jackie Chan. Let's do it. Okay. It's gonna tell us a little bit more about the place as we go along our walk. Sorry. Ah, Oh, sige, kuha tayo. Let's get, kuha tayo means let's get. Ooh, let's have some calamansi. Let's, let's. Yeah, bunga. It's like, what is theirs? You know what's good with that? Tequila shot and then calamansi. Mm. Okay. Kuya so, effects na tayo makakuha ng tequila shot para bagay sa calamansi. Tequila shot. Have it. Go, go for it. Best way is just to like bite it off. Let's see. Wow, thank you. Hey, we're going to try this Philippine lemon, also known as calamari. So it's not a way to do this, but you bite it. This is more, just this. Look, Eddie, Eddie is such a perfectionist. He peeled it off. Well, I'm just going to bite mine because it's going to. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, delicious. It's exactly like lemon. I would say this is more potent and concentrated than lemon. It's got a lot of seeds, but this is really good. Good for um, vitamin C. Vitamin C. Mm. Woohoo! Here, yeah. you put uh, touching and you know, like this. stop we're gonna start swimming this beautiful bridge is um you can see both sides looking very pretty i cannot wait to explore and then to my left there's some local kiddos doing the big jump it's 25 feet high so i don't know if Eddie's up for it but um yeah i can't wait to get in the water this is the hanging bridge Let's go slide. I can see some spiders. 